And now let's get a check of the rest of the morning's top stories from Ann Curry at the news desk. Hey, good morning, Ann. Morning, Meredith and Matt. Good morning, everybody. Well, the war in Gaza is escalating. According to medical officials, nearly 900 people have been killed in two weeks of fighting, about half of them civilians. NBC's Richard Engel is near the Israel-Gaza border this morning. Richard, Israeli troops are now moving deeper into urban areas. That's correct, Anne. And this morning, Israeli forces were bombing the homes of Hamas leaders. But Israeli officials also say that most of the Hamas leadership has gone into hiding and is living in bunkers spread out across the Gaza Strip. Israel is sending in more reserve forces, a sign that it could still expand its ground offensive. Yesterday, Israeli troops made their deepest advance yet into Gaza City. There they met fierce resistance and found that many of the homes in the tightly packed streets had been booby-trapped. They were also rushed with some suicide bombers, Anne. All right, Richard Engel this morning. Richard, thank you for your reporting on the story. Tragedy in Indonesia where nearly 250 people are missing or feared dead after a ferry capsized and sank in stormy weather. About 20 people are known to have survived. An Ohio company is now recalling two brands of peanut butter after an open container tested positive for salmonella. The company is recalling its King Nut and Parnell's Pride brands with a lock code that begins with the number 8. Officials say the peanut butter has not been conclusively, however, linked to a nationwide salmonella outbreak that has sickened about 400 people.